Central on our live stream presented by the Chambers Media Partner Variety. Hello. I see you. I hear you. The Hollywood Walk of Fame recognizes achievements in the categories of motion picture, radio, live theater, sports entertainment, recording, and television. And today, in the category of recording, we are proud to honor Dr. Dre with star number 2,775 on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Now, before we invite the good doctor to the stage, let me tell you a little bit uh, about our honoree. Nine-time Grammy Award-winning artist, producer, founder and CEO of Aftermath Entertainment and Beats Electronics, entrepreneur, and philanthropist, Dr. Dre began his career as a member of the World Class Wrecking Crew. Shortly after, he co-founded the revolutionary group N.W.A. Hello. N.W.A. became the fifth hip-hop group to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and the group was honored this year with a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. The Compton, California native embarked on his solo career in 1992 when he released his solo debut album, The Chronic which has been certified triple platinum by the RIAA, reached the top 10 on the Billboard 200, and won a Grammy for Best Rap Solo Performance with Let Me Ride. Hell yeah. Dr. Dre launched Aftermath Entertainment in 1996, where over the years he discovered hip-hop superstars such as Eminem, 50 Cent, Kendrick Lamar, and Anderson Pack. And y'all know there's others that he discovered, and we're going to speak on those as well. Jimmy Iovine and Dre established Beats Electronics in 2006 and later launched Beats Music, and Apple acquired both in 2014. In 2017, HBO released a four-part documentary, The Defiant Ones, chronicling the life of and the relationship of Iveen, Jimmy Iveen, and Dr. Dre throughout the years and how they shaped some of the more exciting moments in pop culture. Among many other accolades, Dr. Dre won a Grammy and an Emmy for the Defiant Ones. In 2013, the USC Jimmy Iveen and Andre Young Academy for Arts, Technology, and the Business of Innovation was funded and established. In 2022, they expanded their efforts to the Los Angeles Unified School District, opening the Iovine and Young Center Integrated Design, Technology, and Entrepreneurship Magnet, a new high school that will offer students grounding that's getting their grind on in that same cutting-edge curriculum. Dr. Dre donated $10 million to Compton High School for the school's new Performing Arts Center, which broke ground in 2022. The facility is named Andre, Dr. Dre Young Performing Arts. In 2022, Dr. Dre collaborated with Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, 50 Cent, Eminem, and Kendrick Lamar, and we all bear witness to that Pepsi Super Bowl 56 halftime show at SoFi. That Super Bowl performance took home three Emmys, including a win for Outstanding Variety Special, the only time a Super Bowl halftime show has won an Emmy in that category. Last year, the Recording Academy and Black Music Collective created the inaugural Dr. Dre Global Impact Award to celebrate his trailblazing achievements in music. This past February, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg launched, launched Gin and Juice by Dr. Dre and Snoop, the first ready-to-drink product from their new premium spirits company. These partners, they've been, man, they've had their stars aligned for many, many years. And speaking of being stars that align, they got their stars right next to each other. The collaborations continue. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time to bring up our honoree. Coming to the stage, please help me welcome Dr. Trey. One more time for Dr. Dre. Soak up that moment. Now, before we hear from our good friend, Dr. Dre, we have two good friends of Dr. Dre's, ladies and gentlemen, and your friends would like to say a few words for you, Dre. Our first speaker is record producer, and whoop, our first speaker is record label founder and entrepreneur. Please welcome the best of the best to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Iovine. All right, hello. I gotta tell you something. S seeing these four guys together makes me a little misty. Also, reminds me of my past when I got abject fear. But um, it was an amazing time in my life, and to see them all together is just an incredible moment. So they only gave me two minutes. I could do two minutes on the first minute I met Dr. Dre. You know, but what you hear all the time in different parts of the entertainment business, like basketball, is it LeBron or is it Michael? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. I knew that would work. Uh, or Kobe, or Kobe. Sorry. Soccer, Pele or Messi? Who's the greatest pound for pound boxer ever? Rocky Marciano or Muhammad Ali? Uh, no, no, I know it's Ali, but Rocky Marciano was Italian, so I put him in there. Okay? But, 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 with, but with Dr. Dre, in his lane as a producer of hip hop, you never hear Dr. Dre or. It's only Dr. Dre. Even the other producers say it's Dr. Dre. In the 50 years of hip hop, Dr. Dre is the greatest producer ever. In fact, Billboard just named him the greatest hip hop producer of all time. What took them so long? <laughs> And I heard, he, I heard some of the other music he's making right now. He's coming for other genres. What I can say about Dre is he's the greatest partner, friend, ally you could possibly have. For all you people out there that are aspiring to get into entertainment, when you go to bed tonight, pray you meet a Dr. Dre. Congratulations, Dre, on the Hall of Fame. Man, you deserve an entire neighborhood. I love you, Dre. Once again, round of applause for Jimmy IV. LA, we showed up today, right? West Coast, we showed up today. Yes, sir. First off, we got a few of our people we want to acknowledge real quick. TC, Terrence Crawford, I see you, boy. All righty now. <laughs> corrupt. Dog pound gangster corrupt. DJ Quick. Fuzzy Fantabulous, my man Problem from the City of Compton, Jesse Collins, Mr. X to the Z Exhibit, DJ Battle Cat, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, got all the money over there. Of course, Eminem Marshall Mathers, Royce the 5'9", DD12, hello. 
Fred Wreck, where you at? Top Dog, I know you low-key top, but we got to say what's up to you, Top Dog. Top Dog be like, hey, what's happening, man? What's going on? All right. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep this going right here. There's more people that we got to add to this as well as we look out and we see you. Now, our next speaker needs just two words for his introduction. And a big thank you as well. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Snoop Dogg. No cussing. What you say? Yeah, yeah. What's up, y'all? Uh, let me see how I'm going to start this shit off. I want to thank me. I want to thank me for taking the call from Warren and Dr. Dre in 91. Even though I hung up on Warren a few times because I thought the nigga was lying. I want to thank me for deep cover and writing myself into the song. I want to thank me for listening to Dre for over the years and letting him be my teacher, mentor, brother, guardian, protector, and most importantly, a good friend. I want to thank me for showing up on time at the Super Bowl. <laughs> no, for real, nigga, because you know time is everything with us. No, but on a serious note, Dr. Dre, my brother from another mother, a rock in the sands on the beach he'd soon discover. Now we deep cover. Blood Brothers on a mission. Dre's edition. House with no furniture. Studio in the back with a little bit of food in the kitchen. Long Beach to Compton to Calabasas. Compositions. Pay attention. Quincy had Michael. They rewrote the cycle. So if Dre is Q and Mike is Snoop, we bang. G thang. Motherfucking super group. Death Row. What a brother know. No class, low cash, mo cash, so fast. Leave it, dogs retrieve it. Aftermath, from a Millie to a Billy. Please believe it. Yes, sir. Do things, new things, our songs, they bang. I smoke, you drink, I rap to your beats. Bars from the stars, from the streets to the sweets. Low riders hop once Dre beat drop. Forever in our hearts, now engraved on the Hollywood blocks. With the Sinatras and Oscars, movie stars and mobsters. Spooned and groomed with the crispy flow. Dre, your shit bang in the club, but it sound way much better in a ragtop 64. <laughs> now take a look at us. Over 30 years later, and we still on the grind in the studio. And you still, still make me do every line a hundred motherfucking times. Still, and I thank you for that perfectionist. I thank you for being a perfectionist and always pushing me to be great. You always bring out the best of the dog, Dr. Dre, and that's how, that I do appreciate. There would be no Snoop without Dre. Together we created magic in the studio, and our collaborations have left a mark on the world of music. From intro to intro, from intro to endo, our partnership has been legendary. Dre, the motherfucking doctor. Congratulations on this well-deserved honor, and welcome to my motherfucking neighborhood. Get your walk on, cuz. Snoop Dogg, y'all. <laughs> All right, how's everybody doing out there? <laughs> My name is Steve Nissen. I'm the president and CEO of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. I have good news and bad news. The bad news is I'm the unlucky guy who has to follow Snoop Dogg. Okay? <laughs> the good news is the Hollywood Chamber has been administering on behalf of the city of LA this beautiful walk of fame for over six decades. There are nearly 3,000 people of genius honored on this sidewalk. Today we add one more. And 
even though even though this is a street of dreams and aspirations and creativity and innovation, it's also a real place in the 13th Council District of the City of Los Angeles. And Dr. Dre, we have a proclamation from the City of LA. And to, to present that proclamation is our council member from the 13th. Uh, <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, Hugo Soto Martinez. Today's Dre Day. So my Dre Day, Dre Day. So my name is Hugo Soto Martinez. I'm the council member of this district. With all due respe respect, Snoop Dogg, this is my hood. But I love you, brother. I love you. I love you. What, what, an, what an absolute honor to be here today. And I'll say just a personal note of why this is an honor. I remember the first time hearing The Chronic when I was just a nine-year-old boy and listening to that album on Power 106 a bunch of times. And when I was a senior, you dropped The Chronic 2001. And I remember listening to that album that whole year. But not only was that special, but you brought a resurgence to West Coast hip hop by signing Eminem, by uplifting 50 Cent, who had his own record, records at the time. I was listening to your underground stuff. But you came up and you blew up in the West Coast. You put us back on the map. And so it's an absolute honor to be here and share this stage with you. But on behalf of the city of Los Angeles, We'd like to give you this recognition for all the amazing work that you've done over the years. Congratulations. Today's Dre Day. All right, so Dr. Dre, as the world's greatest record producer, as we learned today, okay. uh, you've probably said this a million times to people. Before you take the microphone, I got one more thing to do. On behalf of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, I now declare today, Dr. Dre Day in Hollywood! I love it. <laughs> it's Dre Day, March 19th. Dre Day, okay. I love it. So, I don't know if I need to shout out anybody of all of my friends that are here already because that's been said a lot of times, so I'll just get into it. I'd like to thank the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce who felt that I was finally ready to walk in the footsteps of Ice Cube, Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, all of whom got stars before me for some fucking reason. <laughs> but I'll trip. I'm not bitter. It's, it's all good. I'm here now. All right. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, I love the idea of being memorialized on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It's an incredible tribute to my artistry. Growing up in Compton, I never imagined that I would one day be represented here among some of my childhood heroes. You know? We've heard the saying a million times before, focus on your passion and the rest will follow. And that's exactly what, I, what it is for me. Pouring my whole soul and self into my passion for hip hop led me on the pathway to an incredible career. And I've been fortunate enough to make a living doing exactly what I love to do. How about that? Isn't that the dream, right? Yeah. And over the course of my career, I've had the privilege of finding and nurturing new talent as well as pushing the boundaries of hip hop, both in content and substance. But I'm most proud of elevating the clarity and sound of how we experience hip hop. Getting that thing right is one of my greatest achievements. You know, 
the clarity of hip hop. You know, I love that this honor is unique to Los Angeles and brings fans from all over the world to my hometown to connect with their favorite artists. So, yeah, I'll be here forever. <laughs> yeah. I'm incredibly grateful for your support throughout the years. Most of us have grown up together and at nearly 60 years old, huh? you're still rocking with me. And I really appreciate that. Yeah, thank you so much. Which is really good because I'm nowhere near done. You better believe there's a lot more coming. And I want to thank everybody that showed up here to show support for me. Thank you so much for coming out to represent. I appreciate you. Thanks a lot. One more time for Dr. Day, Dr. Dre, and it is Dre Day. And whoever's celebrating that birthday over there, happy birthday to you as well. I see your sign. All righty now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment is here. It's time to unveil that star. Dr. Dre, if you would walk down with me, my brother. You haven't seen this at all, right? Go ahead now. Harry O, what up, her? I see you, brother. Alchemist, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our honor to welcome the newest member of the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Dr. Dre. And in the left. There, guys, straight ahead. Right to your right, right. Your right. Right to the left, to the left, to the top. Look it up, right. And Jimmy, Jimmy, and Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
Is there a officer with the white jacket? Yeah, I need to get one. Mr. Turner, the 7 foot stock. There it is. There it is. There you go. Right here, right here, right here. Right here. <laughs> Thank you. 